All right, this is a Metalhead's Perspective. Um, today we're going to check out a band called Fate Gear. Um, they describe themselves as an all-female steampunk metal band. Um, so I think it's safe to say I am deep in the Japanese metal foxhole. Or rabbit hole. Or wh whatever analogy you draw from that. I am very far into this um japanese music um i cannot get enough of it um i think it i think japanese music um from what i have heard so far on this journey is superior to american rock music well to most american music in general if i'm going to be honest um, and I am here for it. Um, so let's get into this. The song is called Headless God, Headless Goddess. Um, English is apparently hard for me today. Um, so yeah, definitely curious. This came after, um, my last, uh, baby metal reaction, I believe. I think that's where I pulled this from the, in the comments section. Um, it had quite a few likes to it, so let's get into it. Holy smokes. All right. <coughs> it's going to be like that. Oh. All right, all that was pretty cool. All right, let's begin. Oh, yeah, that tempo change. Oh, they definitely got that steampunk, pirate look, Victorian look. Wow. I really like those harmonies. Um, her lower in the register and her higher in her register. Um, just harmonizing. And they, the pitch is on point, so it sounds really good. Oh, a Jesus Christ. Oh. <sighs> this is insane. Another, another good suggestion. Holy crap. You guys are incredible. Um, <sighs> Where do you even start? Again, I love something about Japanese rock music. The instruments are really predominant in the mix. Um, I've noticed it's really easy to pick up what a lot of the instruments are doing. And even more so for drummers. Um, just for some reason, drummers just always... Japanese drummers especially, always stand out to me. They just, they're just they phenomenal at what they do. I mean, not to discredit the rest of the band, but God, this drummer's going insane. And it's like that with everything i've reacted to there's they're 
Drummers are just so good over there. Uh, um, yeah, so far this is insane. I like their outfits. That's really cool. That whole steampunk Victorian, like pirate ish theme they have going on is um just makes them look even more stunning. <laughs> I like the little touches, um, like the keyboard being in that steampunk theme, and same with the symbols on the um, the drums. Even had that cog wheel steampunk look to it. It's really cool. <laughs> Yeah, they really embraced the theme here, even with the look of the guitars, the whole outfit, the headgear, even got some some accessories to go with it. Yeah, pretty cool. And they sound amazing, especially the vocalist and that drummer. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, the guitarists in that bass sound amazing and the keyboard. Yeah, definitely. Like I was saying. That was some really cool offbeat hits right there. Some cool harmonies. Good guitars. Oh, this is really slow to see when it's vocal. Tempo change. It's really cool, they're playing like some offbeat there. Kind of throwing the headbanging off of it. Yeah, they're messing with the timing. Right I think I found that you just gotta follow her kick. Oh man, we're right at the end there. Um, it's really cool. They were messing with some timing. The drummer was playing some offbeat, like snare and cymbal hits there. Um, that uh, kick of hers was following a steady beat, so it was really cool throwing that that off timing hits on on that. Um, I couldn't tell what scale they were pay playing in, it. and it sounded like she almost went into double time there on the second chorus, I believe. Um, really, really cool. I wish I could hear the bass a little better. I can hear it at a, a couple times there, but it's not quite as high in the mix as I would appreciate it to be. Um, the 
keyboardist is playing some really really cool fills um when um those dueling guitars take a break from each other that keyboard is really predominant um and she's really playing some really cool like it, it almost sounds like the the theme of what they're trying to play their theme of their band is like the victorian style like notes let the r- r- notes really lean into um really lean into it you can it sounds almost like eerie in a way um yeah awesome and i love these singers this dueling vocal thing that they go got going on and how they're at on different registers but staying within pitch of each other is really cool <coughs> excuse me really cool um yeah let's finish this out This distorted growl is really cool. I'd like to hear her do more of that. Oh, yeah. Kind of a double time in this. Oh, that keyboard just sounds, makes that sound so much bigger. So much more grandiose. I'm really gonna let that last note ring out holy crap really cool i enjoyed this a lot this is playlist worthy for sure i am glad you guys let's find a good stopping point here come on oh i think i had one i ruined it oh there we go that'll work oh uh, another another good suggestion um i like them a lot um really really cool original um especially with that keyboard was playing some really eerie long drawn out notes that gave it just a haunting feel like victorian feel to it um i love their whole look um really cool who doesn't like that steampunk look that's really cool um the instruments sounded amazing these two vocalists incredible incredible vocalists um I almost feel like I almost feel like I've heard them before or heard this one before. Um she's, she's got a she's lower in that register and maybe it's just because I came off of that des, Destros um reaction and they kind of have that similar style to them. Um anyways, um if you want to hear more of Fake Gear, um please um, comment below. Um, please like and subscribe the video. Um, if you want to see more reactions like this, there's plenty more to come out. I have a long list of stuff to get to, and um, it just keeps piling up. Anyways, have a good one, and stay metal. <laughs>